Hey there, I'm Kit, I'm literate, and welcome to the weekly vlog. I am trying desperately to stay awake right now. I need to be awake for 20 more minutes and then I can go to bed, but I'm so tired. So now I'm talking to the camera. Um, it is Monday, April 18th. Yesterday was Easter. And for Easter, I went down to my grandma's in Florida and had a little, like, family. And it's Easter, let's all have lunch. So I'm tired because I had to wake up at 8 a.m. Well, I had to wake up at 7 this morning so I could get ready so we could leave at 8 so we could drive back home. Seven hour drive. And I am quite tired. I did, um, also while I was down there. It was a whole mess. I didn't want to take my camera with me because, you know, I'm like at my grandma's, staying at my grandma's. My hair's only half dry, so it's a little bit of a mess. And you know, I didn't want to have to do any recording and stuff while I was at my grandma's because that's mean. Didn't want to bring the camera down which meant that I couldn't read either of the two books that I was in the middle of reading before I went down there. One of which is A Court of Wings in Ruin, of which I am doing a full spoilers read-through, and the other is an arc that I need to update every 25%, and I need to update now for it. So I couldn't read either one, so instead I picked up the second book in the Winston Brothers series, Grin and Beard It. It's that one series that... I remember I said it in a vlog. I had ripped my eye one day and I was listening to an audiobook so I could like let my eyes rest. Um, it's the sequel to that book. I liked it, but I didn't like it as much as the first book. I think just because I wasn't that into these two characters and their specific story. But I really liked how funny it was. I liked the communication. I'm too tired to be telling you about this book, to be honest. Like, let's wait until tomorrow so I can tell you about it. But now I am home and I'm looking at my to-do list and all the things that need to get done and I'm like, wow. I have eight arcs. So I need to get through those. I was looking at my schedule earlier though, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to finish reading A Court of Wings in Ruin and then read one more book for a video that needs to go out. I'm not gonna be able to make it for the 20th, so I guess that video is coming out the 27th and I'm just not posting anything the 20th. But I also need to finish the arc that I'm currently reading, Cafe Con Lychee, because that comes out May 10th. And it's, you know, April 18th, so we're getting kind of close. And then, while I was down at my grandma's, I got an Instagram message. Somebody asking me to read their book. So I have to read that. The book's already come out, so I need to read it, like, soon. Um, like, the book was out before they told me about it. So it's not like, oh, I didn't have time to read the book before it got published. It was already published when they started messaging me about it. Um, but I'd like to get that done soon, but that means that I have to finish like two books, three books before that book. I don't know. And I really want to go to bed, but it's 11.50 and I have 10 more minutes to stay up and do what? I don't know, but I'm very tired. I, um, the reason I'm staying up is because I... Realized the, I've realized this before, but I finally was like, I'm gonna do something about it. Most people like my Instagram posts, recently at least, between midnight and 1 a.m. for me. So I was like, why don't I just post at midnight? So I'm doing that tonight. And it's rough. I mean, I'm normally awake at midnight, but today specifically, I woke up at 7. And I thought today was the day to post at midnight. I mean, it's only 10 minutes. Maybe I can post it early. I'll talk to the camera while I open my blinds. This is fine. Remember how last night I started this video? 
I'm not sure if that's gonna be loud or not, so, you know. Hello? I know I'm white, but I'm not that white. Remember how last night I started this video and I was like, yeah, but I'm ready to be productive, um, ready to get all my stuff done. I'm too white for the camera. Um, and then I had eight arcs, right? So I wake up this morning and um, I have a little notification in my email. Cool. I open it and it's Alexandra Lound telling me I'm on his um, arc team, so. Here's the new book, it comes out May 6th. That's a really quick turnaround time. It's April 19th today. And now I have nine arcs. So we're starting this morning a little stressed. I understand now how other people on booktube can just read books and then later compile them into a video. And like, you know they... Uh, Mostly I watch female booktubers, so they have like the first clip where they have makeup and they look all pretty and then the next few clips is them reading the books and then the last clip they're back to makeup and being all pretty and give you a little outro. I understand it now because I have so many books and I'm trying to compile them into videos but it's like I, I haven't read these books yet so I don't know what they have in common and how to put them in a group for a video. This makes sense now how people do this is just because like they, they literally can't do anything but not do that. But I figured out the next like four books that I'm going to read, figured out what book I'm going to read here and when and all that. Um, I'm definitely not going to have a video until or for the 20th, April 20th. 27th is gonna be really close. Like I'd have a week to read three videos in order to make it to the 27th, but I'm gonna have to put my Aurelium video back a couple weeks so I can fit in all of these arcs. Yay. But um, I'm going to, my camera is charging right now. When it's done charging, I'm going to give my 50% update for Cafe Con Lychee. Then I'm going to read the entirety of Cafe Con Lychee today. If I finish that today, I'm going to hop into The Night Queen's Curse by Nero J. Hale, because that came out, I think I got told about it on April 16th, or maybe it was the 15th, I don't really remember, and that came out March 31st. So technically speaking, like, it's already over with, but I don't know, I get the review out. Um, and then after that, I'm going to hop into A City of Magic and Mystery by Alexander Lound, because that comes out the 6th. Hopefully I finish it by the 6th, but if I don't, sorry. And then after that, I'm hopping back into The Court of Wings and Ruin, which I am halfway through. But, like, this book is not the important one in these four books. So I finished one of the arcs already today. I was halfway through it to begin with, um, Cafe Con Lychee, but I finished it and now I don't have to worry about that one and it's like, good. So I'm about to hop into the second book, which is The Night Queen's Curse by Nero J. Hale. But I just wanted to give a little bit of an update. I've already finished one of the books. We're doing great. Hello over there! I'm under a dog pile. Six dogs deep. Um, so I'm just starting The Night Queen's Curse on my iPad. Honestly, I don't know where to put my arms because everywhere is dogs. But there's a map. And I'm looking at the map, it says Merle's location in the world map. And I'm like, okay, this is a fantasy book from what I know. The prologue says something about uh, Fae Prince. 
fantasy, I assume. Um, map. Cool. People love fantasy maps. The island of Merle, which looks like a, uh, what are those called? Oh my god. Can I zoom in so you can see it a little bit better? Seahorse? It's right next to Australia. I don't know why that's so funny to me. Just the concept of a fantasy world being in our world. I wasn't expecting this to be urban fantasy. I was expecting it to be high fantasy. I think the term technically for fantasy that takes place in the real world is more of like contemporary fantasy. But every single time that I see fantasy aspects in the real world, it's normally urban fantasy because it's in big cities. The concept of just fantasy in the real world happening outside of big cities, like in a place called called Merle right off of Australia, is just really funny to me for some reason. My iPad smells like my grandma's house, which makes sense because it the last place it was before here was my grandma's house. But I wasn't expecting it to smell so strongly of my grandma's house. That's really weird. So I don't know what was up with yesterday. Um, I know I certainly like was productive and did things like I did laundry. Woo. And I read, I finished Cafe Con Lichi. But then like I went to my room at nine-ish, uh, and then suddenly it was 1 a.m. And I had been on my phone that entire time, just like watching TikToks and stuff. So <sighs> I was supposed to edit two videos last night. I think both are late. One is last, not last week's, the week before is vlog. And the other was a video for Easter that I needed to record something like on Easter. And then I was going to get the video up the next day. Um, and then it ended up being like, I think I, I think I recorded it on Monday but I still haven't edited it yet, and it's a few days late. I really should have pre-recorded and just pretended that it was Easter and not recorded on Easter, but oh well. Um, I guess we'll know for next time, it just felt weird. But um, I, I think I'm 1% away from having to update the next arc. I'm reading The Night Queen's Curse by Nero J. Hale. Like, Hey, this isn't the video where I'm, you know, talking about my feelings on it and stuff. I'm really liking this book. Like, it's so funny. I love the main character. I don't know whether to call her stupid or gullible, but there's a lot of supernatural stuff happening around her. And she just ignores it. Like, there, there must be a spell on her or something that makes her see these things and just pretend that they didn't happen or something because she is so funny finding herself in these situations and having absolutely no reaction to them. One of the very first things that happens to her in the book is she meets this guy who has, I think he has pointy ears, um, long white hair, like this man is not human. Um, he has a sword on his belt next to him and later on she sees him again he doesn't know that she's there he pulls out his sword raises it in the air a whole bunch of like lightning and storm suddenly appears um and lightning hits his sword makes it glow and then he uses the sword to slash in front of him and she can see that there's like a ward surrounding the building that he's in front of and she watches this and goes, anyway, it's time to go home. Like, absolutely no reaction to seeing that right in front of her. It's so funny, I love her so much. Um, but I'm pretty sure she has like a spell on her or something because I don't know why else she would be so stupid gullible, but I'm really liking it and I, have many things to do, but I think I want to finish this book at least before I start working on anything else that isn't reading related because I have 
Did we talk about how I have like six books to read really soon? I'd just feel better if I was two books down in like two days. So we haven't talked in a while. I can see in the um, screen that my hair over here is really poofy. Don't pay attention to it. I was supposed to be weekly vlogging this week and I just... Monday I was tired because I just came back. Tuesday I vlogged. Wednesday, which was yesterday, I skipped. And honestly, I didn't really do that much yesterday. Um, today's Thursday. I got a lot done, but it was a lot of like computer stuff that would be kind of boring to vlog. Like, I edited a couple of videos that I've been, been behind on. I wrote, I think, four book reviews, maybe five, I don't know. I have been reading The Night Queen's Curse by Nero J. Hale. Double check. Yeah. Recently, and I'm 50% of the way through that. I'm, like, loving it, but you'll have to watch the video that's, like, for that. It's the um, upcoming fantasy books one that I think comes out May 4th. Hopefully, if I get everything done for it by then. I need to start taking Instagram photos. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to go outside and take some photos, weather dependent. And then I will feel catched up, caught up, and like I'm back to the normal that I was at before I left and didn't do things for a while. I'm also debating already what I want to call this vlog because it's very much a catch up vlog. But I already have a video that I had posted months ago that was called the ketchup vlog. So, what is this the mustard vlog? Maybe that's what I call it, just to be funny. I return from crocheting all day. Not that you need to know about it, but I'm crocheting a cow. It doesn't look very cow-like right now, but it shall be a cow in the future came up to my room because I was in the living room all day and I was like I don't feel like turning on the lights but it is certainly dark in here and it needs to not be so I opened up three windows it could be brighter but again I don't want to turn on the light something about the yellowness of the lights versus the whiteness of outside you know I'm feeling white which is you know something that I feel every day but I'm supposed to be reading The Night Queen's Curse, you know, finishing that up. I need to do it soon. But I got a notification from Hoopla on my phone, the, the library app, that um, I still have borrows left, of course, because I haven't used it all month. I still have 12 borrows left. And part of me is like, what if I just get like a bunch of books through Hoopla? and um just like read those instead like it's not like i'm hating the night queen's curse you know i'm really enjoying it last night i even talked to you i think about how I, I talked to the camera i don't know if it was in this video or in the actual video for it about how i was really loving it but it's kind of long and i don't know i'm just not feeling it today one of the books that i saw that hoopla has though is um Neander Neanderthal Seeks Human, which is the first book in the Knitting in the C C City. I thought that we were done with that really weird stuttering problem that I have, especially on S sounds, but apparently not, because it just came back in City. Did you hear that? Because I heard it. Um, anyway, the I think it's called Knitting in the City. It's by Penny Reed the same author who does the Winston Brothers series, that, that series that I've been talking about recently that I'm like, I don't know why I'm reading this, but I just keep reading it. It takes place in the same world, but it's like the sister of the Winston Brothers series lives in a big city, I want to say like Chicago or something, I don't know. And she's in a knitting club, and so it's all the other knitting club members and their little stories, and I was just like, you know what, I want to do it. I want to read more of her writing, of Penny Reed's writing. I could also just finish the Winston Brothers series, you know, but like, 
I saw Neanderthal Seeks Human and I was like, hell yeah. And a couple of audiobooks, but right now I'm trying to get through my really long watch later um, for my like video game. It's my personal YouTube account, but I only use it to watch other people play video games. And there's like 30 videos in that watch later and they're all six hours long. And I'm trying to get through that. And then after that, I will start listening to audiobooks. I hate the concept of needing to do something that is piling up as you go along still. Um, and then after you finish it, you'll be able to move on to this other thing that is also piling up. But you'll never be able to finish that first thing. Because, like, it just keeps piling up, so you'll never be able to get to the second thing. I do the same thing with arcs. Arcs, library books, and my physical TBR, right? Where I'm like, oh, I need to read all these arcs, and then I get more arcs, and they pile up, and then I want to read all these things from the library, and I get more, and they pile up, and I have these physical books that I bought, and I get more, and they pile up, you know? Um, and I never truly finish a group before I move on to the next, and it annoys me that I can't do that, but it also annoys me that I think that I would be able to. But basically what I'm saying here is I don't know what to do because I don't really feel like the Night Queen's Curse tonight, but I also don't know whether I want to read from Hoopla an ebook, an audiobook, or a comic. And I am astrologically a Libra, so this is the hardest decision I've ever had to make in my life, you know? Hello friends, how are you? I decided for right now I'm just going to continue to read The Night Queen's Curse. I marked a bunch of books in Hoopla that I want to read eventually, but ultimately I just feel bad if I don't finish The Night Queen's Curse first. Like not even, normally when I stop a book halfway through and I read something else, it's because I'm scared that I'm not going to go back to the other book and that I'm gonna realize how much that I hate it and DNF it or something, you know? That's that's not what I'm doing, or that's not what I was doing there. Um, like I said before, I like the Night Queen's Curse. It was just I needed some time away from it. Like I saw this TikTok that explained it really well in the terms of like a palate cleanser. Like you read so much fantasy and how darker and more emotional fantasy is than rom-coms that you just need like a cute little rom-com as a palate cleanser before you go into another fantasy that was sort of like the feeling i was getting like i needed a little palate cleanser but i just feel bad putting off the night queen's curse in order to have my little palate cleanser so i don't know i'm gonna try to finish it before i jump into something else but I do have like a list of ones that I can choose from later when I do. Plus it's only the 22nd and my um, holds, my borrows in Hoopla don't expire until the 30th. So like I have time to, I'm not going to get through like 12, but I have time. It's not like after today, they're all going away. Like I have over a week eight days um in order to get through those 12 borrows and i don't even have to like there's nothing wrong with me not reading the 12 books it's just you know so yeah i'm laying down reading the night queen's curse on my phone and that's probably what i'll spend the night doing i'm debating whether or not i want to do a weekend reading vlog just because i don't have anything to post for the 27th and i feel like i should and a weekend reading vlog would just be like a really quick and simple thing to record. I don't know. I need to come up with quick and simple things to record for weeks where I just can't get something out really fast. But I don't know yet. I'm still kind of playing around with the idea, so. So I've never had an airhead before. I don't know if like the single version of this is just airhead or if they're airheads no matter the quantity but I've never had one of these before. 
My grandma had a bunch of extra candy for she was doing like the Easter baskets and the little eggs that you put around your yard for Easter. And she had a bunch of like lollipops and these left over and so we took them. And I've never really been a candy person, but I just, I saw the bag and I was like, sure, I'll try an airhead. I was told that this is really similar to taffy, and I was also told that I was really weird for having never had taffy before either, but like I said, um, I was a veggies kid. So I'm gonna open it and try it on camera, because I don't know, it's... 20 minutes until 1 o'clock in the morning, and that sounded correct to me. I could not have opened this in a worse way. Also, it is a little stuck to the wrapper. I expected it to be a lot harder. I keep having to touch it because of the wrapper. I expected it to be hard. Because it feels so hard through the plastic. Anyway, little bite. Mm-hmm. I don't remember if you could have seen or not. It's the blue raspberry flavor. I chose that one specifically because I like blue raspberry. It's certainly a lot of blue raspberry, like all at once. I only took that big of a bite. That's a lot. A lot of flavor. A lot of sugar. Not terrible though. It kind of reminds me of cotton candy. If you've like rolled it into a ball. I had this one person once. I was doing a craft show and one of the vendors nearby was a cotton candy maker. And they came at the end of the craft show as we're all, you know, packing up and about to leave and gave all of the vendors, like every single time that they had to f switch flavors in their machine, they'd keep a little bit of it. And at the end, they made it into like these cotton candy bricks and gave it, gave one to, you know, each of us vendors. So, I don't know, that kind of just reminds me of it. Um, it's not terrible, though. But I also, like, would not have this often. Actually, update. I had about half of it. Um, this was supposed to stay down so you could see about half of it. And now it's just too much sugar. It's a little after 11. I was briefly considering just laying in bed and watching TikTok all day because I really didn't want to get up. And then TikTok showed me another uh, version that somebody has made of the soup scene in A Court of Mist and Fury. And now I don't care about anything. I'm getting up because I don't want to watch that. I love the lighting right now. Um. But I'm having this problem where, yet again, I just really want to read another book. Um, I need my rom-com palette cleanser. I only have 25% left in The Night Queen's Curse before I'm finished with it. But then immediately after that, I have to read A City of Magic and Mystery. So it's like fantasy right up against fantasy. And I'd feel bad if I read anything in between. I don't know. But also, like, the problem is if I read a rom-com, I'm going to want to record for it. You know, to get some content for booktube. And then that means coming up with a video concept for it. And I just, I don't want to think about that because of my schedule and everything. Maybe if I do a little bit country, because I need to read that anyway. So I've just been sitting here for the past hour just thinking of that, and kind of struggling with it, and... Going, what do I do, and I still don't have an idea. 
but I want my damn fluffy, nice story in between my fantasy. So I eventually decided I started reading an ebook, just like the first ebook that I had ever put in my favorites on Hoopla to like read for later, or at least the oldest ebook that I have in my favorites. I don't really know. It's called Becoming Alpha by Eileen Aaron, I think, and it's a shifter romance. Because as much as I try to look cool on the internet, ultimately, the post-Twilight shifter craze that we all went through never left me, and I still go crazy over shifter romances. I try not to, like, read a lot of them recently, and I don't know, like, I'm too cool to be reading shifter romances or something, but honestly, like, that's my shit. So I started reading this one. And I'm going to do a video at some point, I don't know when it's going to come out, but there will be a video of me talking about this book and giving 25% updates, but I just thought I'd let you know that I have officially gone crazy, gone stupid, and started to read an ebook. So it's only been like maybe a minute since I last talked, but this shifter romance is very good. One of the side characters comments on the main character's backpack. It's her first day of senior year. And is like, oh, is that a Tokidoki backpack? And the main character says something like, yeah, I'm obsessed with Tokidoki. Middle school me would have absolutely loved this book. I am so sad I didn't get to read this in middle school. I loved Tokidoki in middle school. I had a whole bunch of shirts. My two favorites, I pulled them up on my phone just so you could see them, were Chow- Oh, well, the screen, the window is behind. Anyway, my two favorites were Chow Chow and Adios, because of course they were. I haven't thought about Tokidoki in years. This is why you should read books published in whenever this book was published. 2013 this year, you know, because <laughs> maybe that sounds weird. This is why you should read books that were published in 2013 in 2022. Because you get to read little things like, yeah, I'm obsessed with Tokidoki, and then just suddenly like remember, Tokidoki was a thing, and you were into it. I put my hair up in a ponytail on the top of my head because I was getting kind of tired of it being in the back of my head, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I could turn this into a man bun and it would look funky. I've never done that before. Yeah, oh, oh no. Oh no. Anyway, um, I'm, I, I'm just gonna keep it like that. This is the angle we care more about the hair than we do my face. Um, I feel like I've just been very greasy today, like abnormally greasy today. Sorry, let me just keep my head down like this so you can look at it. Um, it kind of looks like a hand. High five. Like I'm not, I feel like I'm not usually this greasy, but today, I don't know what's about it. We're being greasy as hell. Um, so my hair just has to constantly be up while I'm recording. Anyway, that book that I, um, started reading, Becoming Alpha by Eileen Aaron, I finished it. It took me like four hours to read. It was crazy. It was really good, and I really liked it. And now I'm going to finish the last 75% of The Night Queen's Curse, and then go to bed. But it is, uh, Saturday night, you know? and these vlogs run Monday through Saturdays, so it's time to end the vlog. I know, very sad. I can feel you crying through the screen, do not worry. But we'll be back next week. I'll tell you more about me going crazy, going stupid, right? Like we're only missing a day, just Sunday. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope to see you again next week for another weekly vlog. If not, I hope to see you 
on Wednesdays for my category videos. I still don't know what to call them. And if not that, I hope to see you around on uh, any of the other social media accounts that I have. They're all detailed in the end cards, so just take the social media accounts that you have, take the social media accounts that I have, bring them together, follow me. Let me see you on other social media, that sounds weird. Um, and anyway, I will see you next time.